Welcome back to the catch up here on Chris Cyborg's YouTube channel. I am James Lynch. She is Chris Cyborg. Chris, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Uh, today is a great day. I announced my fight and I was waiting. I'm very excited. Yes, and we'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, we got a lot to get into. Uh, first, everyone watching this, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It really does help out the channel a lot. We do this show every single week. I actually wanted to go back a bit. Uh, we talked last week about your teammate, uh, Larry Han Douglas uh, in LFA. He stole the show. He got a big win. Uh, just talk a little bit about that and how proud are you, uh, how uh, impressed you were with that victory. You know, uh, I get very emotional at his victory. I know how much he uh, training and getting ready, you know, for the fight. And then he was in Brazil, and then he was already, no, I'm going to do another thing. But then, you know, he's coming up with his dream. He's here in America, training every day, happy for the opportunity, and dedicated, you know, and he did great, you know. I knew he's ever heavy hands. The beginning of the rounds, I think he's the one, I don't know, he's on the field, the dog, the, the, the dog. Uh, he's on the field, the, 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 the opponent, yeah. and, and then he, you know, in the second round, he's got his hand going, and the, I know, he's, you know, he's really have hands. Yeah, it was a very impressive win. If you haven't seen it on social media, it was everywhere uh, over the weekend. That, that was the only big thing that happened last week, and we had that great heavyweight fight between Usyk and, um, and Tyson Fury. Um, just your thoughts on the fight. Uh, some people were saying uh, one of the best heavyweight fights we've ever seen. You know, I didn't have the opportunity to watch a fight live and I didn't watch again. But, you know, I I listen on my, my family, watch some people, my, my fiance and my daughter. Uh, I was with my mom. So, um, but I know it was a tough fight. Uh, I know it's like um, back and forth the whole time. It was an exciting fight. But, you know, I want to watch the fight. And I know the Ukrainian with the one and one. Um, his dad just passed away, you know, his country in the war. And then he's really, for sure, he's dedicated a lot and... You know, congratulations to him, but I know it's a crazy fight, and I'm excited to go watch. And we also mentioned last week Scott Coker doing his event with Gilbert Melendez. Sounded like that all went well. Um, There's a lot going on last week, despite, um, you know, not, not a ton of other stuff going on. So it was good to just see Coker uh, ba back in action, right? No, it always makes me happy to see, you know, Coker they pro still coming and promoting good events, great events. And Gilbert, you know, he's a legend in sports. And it's nice, you know, nice as a lot of people in the fight and a great fight, a lot of people in the event. It's great to see, you know, I, I was, we should be there in life, but my mom is here with me, so I'm enjoying her a little bit, but congratulations. Scott Coker and Gilbert, and the other one is no help to be the event. Yeah, and actually, should mention that just quickly. Uh, your mom uh, being in town. I know we were supposed to do the show earlier, but mom's important. If she's here, she's top priority. So how's it uh, having your mom? And when was the last time you saw her? Ah, uh, she's usually come every six months. Oh, nice. Years. Yes, um, uh, almost two years and I'm going to Brazil. So I need to go back to see my dad and miss him. Uh, but he's just come and then he's just come and have food every day. It's Brazilian <laughs> food every day. Everybody happy. Everybody getting a little bit heavier. It's nice. <laughs> Good. That's great to hear. Okay, let's let's keep people. Uh, we were keeping people in the dark here. Your next fight, it's going to be in the UK, June 15th. Why don't you tell our uh, audience about uh, what you're going to be uh, doing next? No, you guys know I'm in camp training, my fight uh, drop, but you know, I, I take a break to Hawaii and then I back, I continue training because you know, I would like to make one more boxing fight before my, my MMA fight and the great opportunity come is going to be June 15. Uh, I know it's a short notice, but you know, I'm in camp already training. I'm happy to have the opportunity to put, put on the fight to what I was training for and co thank you, Coach Benavides. And then I went to um uh junior and in arizona you know i'm excited i want to put to what i learned at this last camp and do a great fight for my fans are you going to be doing your camp entirely in california or will be you will you be doing any cross training for for this fight you know i have to do some medical uh for the fight so i'm gonna finish the camp here in california uh and you know i i'm excited i'm excited happy to to have the fight the first time we go to the london uh i know my ex cyborg famous there because there's all the time fight there but now I'm going to have the opportunity to do first time there, Chris Cyborg, and I'm really happy. That's that's great. And uh, any idea on your opponent yet, or you're just booked for the fighter? You have an opponent set at this point. Um, They have a girl. I think my team uh, chose the girl. Mm. Uh, I don't know everything much about her, but I know she's having um, some fights like me. And uh, I believe it's going to be a great fight. No, I, I want to do a great fight and just training and prepare. You know, I look like I'm in the beginning of my career in MMA, you know. Mm -hmm. It's really... Really challenging, but really interesting. You know, I'm happy to, to 
train and learn and motivate. Well, it's just great to see you keep active, right? It's, it's that, That's one of the benefits of you going over to boxing. You'd be like a lot of these other fighters right now that haven't been able to compete in a long time. So it's good to see you uh, keeping active, which is great. Uh, we got to do our Portuguese saying of the week. Uh, I just got back from camping, so I figured that's a good one we'll do this week. How do I say, let's go camping in Portuguese? Vamos. Vamos. Acampar. Vamos acampar. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Not going to be... Uh, Without any plans on the weekend, because I'll get to go camping, which is great. Um, speaking of the weekend, what, what do you got coming up? Obviously, we just talked about the fight there. Do you have anything planned with your mom or anything cool going on this weekend? Uh, this weekend, I'm going to Vegas. I have some meeting there, some business work, and I'm, I'm going to be chill a little bit with my mom. But, you know, I'm in camp, so back in the routine, training. That's good. And that's good, you know, and then my mom leave it back to Brazil, but it's nice to have her here for a couple of days, mm -hmm. and yes, and kept the routine diet again. <laughs> now, are you driving down to Vegas, or do you fly? Because you have that great RV, which I got to see at Bellator 300. That was pretty cool with the big Cyborg logo. You know, I love drive. I love drive. And then usually I bring my dogs with me, and then my bird, with my cat. So I, I usually I drive, mm -hmm. but when I have to go fast, I just fly, but... We're probably going to drive it to the, uh, this weekend. That's great. Uh, before we get out of here, got to remind people about the premium service, chriscyborg.com. You can sign up with Bitcoin and you can sign up for less than a cup of coffee. You're always doing the Q and A's uh, with your fans. You've got the tutorials and then you got the only fans as well, which is all behind the scenes content, video blogs and all that. Anything you got coming up behind the scenes, Chris, that you want to share with our audience? So you guys go to my website. I have a lot of things you can sign up for OnlyFans, subscribe. It's good things, good challenge, good um, uh, content. Have a lot of videos, and then know a little bit about me outside cage. And you have our uh, membership too. You sign up, and you're gonna have a live with me. You're gonna have a lot of things over there, and be connected more with me. Um, remember July. I believe it's gonna be in July. It's gonna be the next uh, Bitcoin conference. If you wanna know about more. You can go to my website, explain everything, and you can get your ticket or pass to go be there. I'm going to be there, learn a little bit more. You know, the world's getting crazy. I think it's good to know a little bit more about Bitcoin. 